All right, thanks for joining me on call. So we're going to be talking about the forehand. Now, the forehand strokes, there are five stages you need to understand. All right, so number one is you want to understand that you need a proper balance, how to balance on a tennis court. So if you're to demonstrate your forehand strokes, you need a balance, all right? Now, you need to understand that you need the balance. How do you balance on the court? You want to have this, your wild legs apart, and you want to have this sitting, more standing, more on your, uh, you're sitting on your lap to get that balance, you're down a little bit. So, uh, for for kids, I used to use the word stand like a warrior, all right? So, you're standing like a warrior. Now, why do you need to stand like, because this helps you for balance, all right? If somebody was to push me, me standing tall, I'm going to really fall off my balance. But if I'm in this position, I'm really going to hold the ground, and if someone pushes me, I can still stabilize. So, this is the first thing you need to understand your balance all right so you are stepping on that court and you want to learn the forehand the first thing you need to understand is you're staying like this all right you're staying like this this is how it's going to be all right facing the court all right let's go to the next stage to utilize your forehand next tennis. stage you want to understand it's your preparation all right the first thing you want to understand about your preparation is the unit stone the unit stone helps you prepare for the incoming ball on your forehand which is the right hand side now this is the unit stone all right good you can uniston on the open stands whereby you can see my legs are wider parts or you can uniston on the closed stands you can see my left leg is stepping forward all right and my head is staying in front to see the incoming ball now another important thing you want to take notes for the uniston is that you have to make sure you do the uniston before the ball bounce on your court so if you have to receive the ball before the ball lands on the court you want to do the uniston this is like taking time away from the ball, all right? So it's like we're going to do a little exercise to get you started into your training. So one thing you want to achieve is before this ball hit this ground, you want to have this unit stone, whether it's a closed stance or an open stance. All right, one important thing about this stance is the most important thing is getting your shoulder to the side, actually. Uh, so um i'm gonna there are, there are also gonna be videos that i'm going to detail which is going to be more duration i'm going to really explain um these stages properly so that for you to really understand but for now it's just to glance through the whole idea all right so from this unit stone want to have this before the ball hit the ground you have the unit stone you can see it before the ball hit the ground you have the unit stone all right that's the first exercise you want to really do to develop that forehand strokes all right, guys, let's go to the number three stages to develop your forehand. All right, the number three stage you need to understand is the timing. All right, the timing, you start developing the timing for right from even from stage number two, which is preparation. Now, you're looking at the ball, you're looking at the ball, you're monitoring the ball, actually, because you're like um, guessing where the ball is going to bounce at your right hand side. So, you remember, you start monitoring the ball at the points you're preparing, which are the points you're doing the unit stone, because you need to do the unit stone before the ball bounce, right? Now, you need to keep your head watching the ball. Now, how do you do that? As you make this motion of the unit stone, your head stays in front, and your head stays down, immediately the ball bounces. This is to monitor the ball, right? When you put your head down, you monitor the ball through the process of the next stage which is the counter points all right so if your head stays down you'll be able to successfully get the next stage which is the contact point all right so let me just go into that side because the timing and the contact points works together so let me go into the contact points now the contact point is you getting hitting the ball in front of you is necessary to always hit the ball in front of you yes that is why is it important because you can be able to transfer your body weight through the shots right that is why it's important to keep the ball in front of you all right so now after the preparation which is the second stage you go into that timing monitoring the ball all right you're monitoring the ball you're looking at the ball bouncing all right and you're looking at the ball reacting that is the time so you're looking at the ball bouncing and reacting so at this point the ball is hitting the ground and about to rise you're doing nothing actually 
until the ball rises. Now, when the ball rises, your timing is to balance the equation, which means the ball is rising. You need to go below the ball to swing the ball. This is what I mean. So if you're in that position, the ball rises, you go below the ball to have that brush in front of you. All right? That's very good. So again, we're going to have that preparation before the ball hit the ground now watch the ball monitor the ball until the ball rises when the ball rises you're going to have this brush in front all right now let me go to the final stage which is the follow through all right the follow through i was already doing the follow through at the point where i was swinging but let me point it out the follow through is very very important which is this you're having this full motion this all full motion is called the follow through it's like just rounding everything together all right, the follow through is important because if you do all this and you don't follow through, it's like you know, <laughs> it's like just building a tall building without the foundation. Yes, you need the follow through, right? The follow through, transferring the body weight and following through. You can see the way my racket is waving past to my heart to the other side of my hand. The follow through helps the racket brush through the ball and give it that 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 spin to keep the ball in play actually so you see this follow through yeah you can see the ball rolling in if i don't do the follow through i'm gonna have something like this no control see that that's going to going out that's no control i'm gonna have something like this see all right but when you have the follow through you always is like being in control of that ball all right it's like driving a car you want to you want to go left you want to go right and you just turn the wheel you know your your hand goes together with the wheel like yeah so you need that follow through every time it's a major part actually you go low and you follow through all right so with these five stages i believe you can be able to swing your forehand and if you still want a detailed training please go on my other videos i detailed it you can see some more videos where i detailed it more uh, you'll be able to understand it so subscribe to simple tennis please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like share with friends and family come online and improve your tennis these are activities you can really do on your own to improve your tennis probably you don't need a coach or if you have a coach who's going to make the work easier for you um, share the video with him tell him to put you through tell him to feed you the balls and also try to do exactly what i just shared with you now and your tennis is going to improve for you all right, tip with tennis. All right, you can go down on the next video, which is for the backhand stroke. And I'm going to put you through the five stages also. It's also the same thing the balance, the preparation. You want to have the timing, you want to have the contact point, and you want to have the follow through. This is very, very important stages. All right, these are the same stages we're going to go through on the backhand stroke. So please go watch that backhand strokes video. Tip with tennis. Sign it out. Bye bye.